Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2018-19 Panini Revolution Basketball. An eight-box inner case. Pick a team 15 from a fresh case. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Now, as you know by now, we give away the Mavs. So let's sort by column A. John Samuelson has four teams, so he gets two entries in here. What's going on here? Come on, control C, control V, there we go. James O, you got four, so you get two entries for a chance at the Dallas Mavericks. Jim Gray with four, you get two. Josh Proust gets one. Larry has two spots, he gets one. Patrick K with six, he gets three. Rich with three, so he gets one. And Robert Aguilar got four, he gets two. And made a mistake last break. I told him I'd give him an extra spot in this one. Forgot to include him in the Mavs randomizer. So there's that extra spot, Rob. That was my mistake. Um, let's do it. Let's see. Uh, let's fire up random.org. Let's see who gets the Dallas Mavericks. We have not seen a significant Luka Doncic anything. Not even like a, a short print, even. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list a lucky seven times. Six and a one. Name on top gets the Dallas Mavericks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. And after seven times, John Samuelson. There you go, Mr. Samuelson. After seven times, the Mavs are yours. Good luck, sir. All right, so let's pop this master case open. Let's see which inner case we're going to do. face went, ladies and gentlemen. I'm right there on this screen. All right, I'm fine on this screen. Can I duplicate this video here, or this source? I don't know. I don't know where my face is, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. 
this whole operation's falling apart now. Alright, face. That was very odd. very strange. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's one left side. We'll save this for the next break. That's for figure team 16. Alright, good luck folks. Here is the final printout, the final list, just to refresh your memories again after that technical difficulty delay. What if I made John Samuelson wait till like tomorrow? Just shut it down. Sorry, technical difficulties. We're going to shut it down for the night. I don't have to wait until tomorrow, John, for your Luka Doncic's. Good luck, everyone. Finally underway. Eight box inner. Pick your team number 15, 1819 Panini Revolution Basketball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Second half already in the store, so check it out. Only a few autographs per inner case, which actually makes the autographs pretty valuable, pretty nice. So usually most of them are really good. Looking for the top rookies, of course, plus that ever-elusive galactic super short print, which falls one per master case. So it's either in here or on the other side. The Lakers are leading 67-63 in Oklahoma City. Look at that. All right, so we're going to go backwards just so we can capture all of the parallels here that are conveniently printed right there, like Impact and Cubic, which are actually serial numbered. We'll save one of those LeBrons. The Lakers definitely need him back. Impact, Astro, An all-card ship, of course. So many variations and parallels and inserts and whatnot. 
just easier to send everything. All right, so here are the parallels. And there's the 21 out of 50 Grace and Allen Cubic. All right, next box. Matthew Whitaker, yes, Lakers fan, big Lakers fan. Dodgers, Raiders, Liverpool, football club. So that Grayson Allen cubic will go to Josh Cruz and the Jazz. Are we enemies, Matthew? Are you a are you like a Celtics guy? Could be my enemy. A wolf in sheep's clothing. All right, good luck. Next box. Wow, nice lava, Jalen Brown. Ow, <laughs> it's lava. Jalen Brown for the Celtics. Speaking of the Celtics, James O with that. Two out of 10 on that one. Nice. Oh, you're a Pelicans guy. What seed do I think the Lakers will be after LeBron comes back? That's a good question. Obviously, West is pretty tough. Um... And, like, I think there aren't very many games that are separating teams one through, like, ten or something like that, which is kind of crazy. Gotcha. You're from Louisiana. We, we actually have a good uh, – we actually have a number of people that are from Louisiana that shop with us. Got a good contingent of people from Louisiana. So welcome. Um, so you're Saints and Pelicans. It all depends on how well this guy plays with uh, LeBron James. Next box. Or what kind, what kind of trades the Lakers may make. I don't think, it doesn't look like, uh, it doesn't look like you guys are going to trade Anthony Davis to anybody anytime soon unless you guys get like a godfather offer. Um... So, I mean, the Lakers are kind of stuck trade-wise. They don't really want to move any of their young guys unless it's for someone like Anthony Davis. But I don't think the Pelicans want to take young guys unless it's a lot of the Lakers' young guys. You know what I mean? Um, Bradley Beal has maybe, in the, maybe been in the conversation. Actually, let me look at the standings here. What could the Lakers do with LeBron? A healthy LeBron? See, that's the thing. Groin injuries are kind of weird, right? Can always can be easily reaggravated. You gotta think Lakers are a playoff team. But the West is tough. Warriors, Nuggets, OKC, Trailblazers, Rockets, Spurs, Clippers, Jazz, and then Lakers, Kings, Timberwolves, and Pelicans, and even the Mavs. I guess kind of almost on the outside looking in. So, I don't know. It, you would think that the Lakers would, would, would get like somewhere in that 7-8 seed area. But someone's got to drop off, right? And guys like this have to keep evolving. So it's going to take a lot in that tough West. Gotta think playoffs though. So like six, seven, or eight. So you would like to think they would be on the top half of the bracket, but I think that's going to be pretty tough. Mm -hmm. 
So that's what that that's what I think. You we gotta think playoffs though. It's gotta be playoffs. I guess who drops out? Maybe Clippers. Clippers started off the season strong, but now they've fallen to twenty four and twenty. I mean, really, it could just end up being who got what team got hot at like the last two weeks of the season. What team got hot, and then they they can sneak into a playoff spot. Grab grab one of the last few playoff spots. I think that's really what it's going to come down to. All right, there's Victor Oladipo, one out of one hundred for the Pacers. That'll be for Jim Gray. Matt saying, yeah, on AD honestly doesn't want to leave the city. Yeah, he seems to fit the Big Easy pretty well. The big dude fits the Big Easy pretty well. It feels like. Seems like a pretty chill guy that doesn't necessarily need like big city lights so maybe he doesn't leave but I think it really it all depends on how what the Pelicans do to add to that team along with Anthony Davis yeah Kuzma is great he's been a bit of a, a revelation But yeah, if I'm on your side, you know what I mean. Like, who would who who would I take from the Lakers to act to to make that deal, you know, even feasible for me? It'd have to be Kuzma plus Ingram, plus Josh Hart or something like that, or Lonzo. You know, but it'd be Kuzma plus Ingram. You know what I mean? Like that. That's what we're talking about. And I just and draft picks. I don't. I don't think that's enough for Anthony Davis. I mean, I, I actually don't know. Anthony Davis is almost too good. Like, what could you possibly accept for a trade for Anthony Davis? Like, what team has the pieces? You'd have to be like a three-team deal or something like that to move a bunch of pieces around. You have to. You have to get really creative there. Luka Doncic base card that probably goes for like a million dollars, right? And there's Sunburst John Wall, 67 out of 75. Right, it'd have to be something like that. If AD went, it'd be Kuzma plus Ingram plus like a second rounder or Lonzo Ball. Yeah. But see, then the Lakers would never do that. You know what I mean? So what, are, what are the Pelicans? How, how's Etwan Moore doing? Oh yeah, that's right. You got Julius. I wish wish the Lakers would have kept Julius Randle. I know with Randle, you, it would look like Lakers 2.0. It would be like the band is back together, and watch they'll do well, and then the Lakers will be like, man, it's like the Lakers plus Anthony Davis. Look how well they're doing. You would love to see what Alonzo's dad's reaction to his son being traded. I, I don't. <laughs> There's Michael. I don't care what his dad thinks. Michael Bridges.
Michael Bridge for Patrick K and the Suns. So more was hot before Christmas and then has kind of simmered down. I'm trying to think what kind of what kind of team could could uh, the Pelicans kind of build. You would think that New Orleans would be like a bit of a destination for for free agents, right? Seems like a seems like a cool place. Double O nine out of one hundred. Cosmic Vincent Edwards. Weather's good, right? Well, human, I guess. Just go get Kevin Durant. Just sign him. Just be like, forget it. Screw it. We're going we're gonna to spend the money. We're keeping Anthony Davis. We're adding Kevin Durant. Boom. You guys are a top five in the West team right there. You know, Julius Randle playing that Draymond Green kind of role. Anthony Davis doing what he does. You can't stop Anthony Davis. You know? And you got, you got smart players like Drew Holiday. Shooters like Etwan Moore. Get some good outside shooters too, plus Kevin Durant. Boom. Success. Oh, look at this halftime show with his dog. He's doing tricks. Oh, the, the pug would not be able to do that. The pug would, would, would go to the sidelines, the courtside seats, and be like, Hey, who are you? Hi, how's it going? What are you up to? Nice. We've got a report from Andrew Herman from the Bass Pro Tournament of Champions. In Springfield, Missouri, Mike Bibby's team is up 31-26 over Bellevue. So in, in prep hoops news, there you go. We, we've got reporters from coast to coast and all around the world. And we've got Lori Markinen for the Bulls. Larry with the Bulls, nice. Nice revolution on card auto. Stephen K saying... New Orleans is a football city, and they had a team before, and they, right, they went to Utah. Yeah, but that was then. This is now. Kevin Durant, come to come to New Orleans, play for the Pelicans, chill out in the Big Easy, watch the Saints. We'll give you, we'll, we'll get a box at the Superdome. Speaking of the Pelicans, there's Anthony Davis. The Brow going to Robert Aguilar. 005 out of 100. Two boxes to go. No Galactic yet. All right. Second to last box in this eight box inner. Pick your team 15. Matt saying the fact that Utah is still called the Jazz drives you crazy. We should have gotten our name back. Yeah, there's no, there's no Jazz in Utah. It should be the Utah... The Utah... Utah 
Mount mountains. The Utah National Parks. Got some nice national parks there. Wow, look at this. DeAndre Ayton. On-card autograph. Another Suns autograph for Patrick K. This time, it's your number one overall pick. Nice. Utah Salt Plains. I like that. That could work. There's Goran Dragic, Cubic, 28 out of 50. And last box coming up. Rich doesn't think the Galactus is on this side. Yeah, it could be on the other side at this point. What's like, what's the, what's the, what's Utah's like state animal or something like that? Uh, do they have like a state bird or something? Must have something. According to Wikipedia, their nicknames are, the official nickname is the Beehive State, the Utah Bees. Bzzz. Right? <laughs> Rich is like, it's Utah. Like, when, uh, what about, let's look at the wildlife here. They've got the wood bison is there. The Utah wood bison. The, they got elk, moose, mountain goats, mule deer, pronghorns, and multiple times of bighorn sheep. The Utah bighorns. They've got predatory mammals that include the brown and black bear, cougar, the Canada lynx in Utah, bobcats. No, that's already... We already tried that. Fox, there's gray, red, and kit foxes there. Coyotes, badgers, gray wolves, black-footed ferrets, minks, stoats, long-tailed weasel, raccoons, and the otter. That'll be a river otter. More of a sea otter kind of guy. Speaking of the jazz... John Stockton, Josh Pruce with the old Utah Jazz legend or Utah White Line Sphinx Moth. Arthur, Arthur Peru in the house says there's plenty of cougars in Utah, so Utah Jazz could change their name to the Utah Cougs, the Cougars. That's too obvious, man. It can't be Utah Mormons. Uh, what about Utah Latter-day Saints? All right, and the last one is Tony Parker, 4S75, Hornets with that one. No Galactic, so that, must, that super short print must be on that other side. Let's do it tonight. We'll see you for the next one, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Maybe we'll figure out a good name for the Utah Jazz and give the Pelicans 
the jazz name again. All right. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.